Go to the gradebook using the shortcut on your user homepage or the gradebook tab on your class homepage. Click gradebook settings to begin. There are three tabs in this section, gradebook structure, class grade format, and class grade calculation. Click class grade format. Here you can see the ranges for different grades. Click edit to change grade names and ranges. You can disable grades for this class. You can also rename, add or delete grade levels if you wish. When you are ready for the students to see their grades, tick the box next to Let Students See the Course Grades. Click Save. Click OK. Click Class Grade Calculation. Here you can include or exclude certain activities from the course grade calculation. Tick the box next to items to include them. In this example, the teacher wants to assess students during class time, so excludes the relevant items from the course grade. In reality, this means that the unticked items are now optional, while items that are included in the grade are obligatory. This means that students have a minimum amount of work to do in the Cambridge LMS to pass the online part of their course but that the teacher also has optional extra activities to assign to students who need additional practice. Click Save to finish and click OK. Activities that are included will now be counted in Graded Score and Grade. Progress will not be affected by this. It will still be the percentage of all content that the student has accessed. Click Gradebook Structure. Here you can create categories to put similar activities together. Type in the name of the category. Click Add and Save. Then click OK. If you wish, you can also include offline activities in the gradebook, such as debating or class participation. Under Add a Custom Gradebook Item, type in the item, select a category, click Add and Save, then click OK. You can now make some categories more important than others by using Waiting. Tick Enable Waiting, click OK, then click OK again. Now you can assign a percentage to each category, 0% means it's not part of the course grade. In this example, the online content counts for a greater part of the final grade than the class activity listed. Click Save to finish and click OK.